You can leave us in peace Cause all of these niggas be on you You bad like that, you know But I'm the one that eats your pain I know What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel It's your girl Deja Jordan for those of you that are new And for my returning Kim folks Oh what's up so you guys In this video we are just going to be doing Some soft girl glam Some everyday type of Wear looks You know that's what we're going for I love looks like that And lately I've been gravitating towards more Looks like that that could be You know added as an accessory When you're putting the outfit together or Stepping out you know so yeah that's kind of what i've been trying to get these looks to give you know not do too much but do too much i don't know <laughs> but anyways you guys we are getting started with the primer jumping in with the power grip primer by elf y'all know that is my jam and now we are working with the maybelline fit me foundation in the shade cappuccino 340 y'all know as far as affordable foundations this right here is my jam it comes in my shade and it is actually kind of challenging to get um foundation that is going to match my shade exactly and just look very um seamless and weightless and feel weightless so the maybelline fit me foundation does it for me especially if i am going to go and look for an affordable foundation you know that under 13 dollar foundation <laughs> but anyways you guys now we're going to go in with the fenty beauty pro filter concealer and we're just going to add that underneath our eye to conceal and brighten and you guys if you know you know i am a huge fan of fenty this is one of my favorite 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 products i feel like since they've been coming out with the pro filter concealers it has always been my jam so yeah y'all go and get this it's a good staple to have in your closet or not your closet but your makeup bag <laughs> and it's also um you know it's a good bang for your buck so feels rich it's still lightweight and it gives you that full coverage that you need it's the bomb.com so yeah shout out to rihanna for giving us such a good product <laughs> but before we go ahead and blend all of that out we are going to go in with the morphe setting and prepping continuous mist you guys if you know me you know that your girl loves a good mist versus a good spray okay the mist just makes everything feel mm, i don't even know i don't even know how to explain it but you know the difference between a mist and a good old spray <laughs> that's what it was but anyways as y'all can see after spraying that mist on my face the blending is looking amazing the blending is doing its thing and everything just blends out like butter and i will say y'all washing your face right before you put makeup on like even if you wash your face the night before and you go to put makeup on the day after or you or the morning after or whatever you should still like wash your face again because it just makes the makeup application look so good so smooth so just natural looking so i highly recommend always washing your face that is one thing that everyone should be doing before they put on any makeup okay because prepping that's essential <laughs> but anyways you guys like i said look at how this fizzy is blending out on my skin i absolutely love it i haven't found a foundation besides the nars creamy foundation that gives the same exact type of blend out and just makes everything like look 10 times like better <laughs> pretty much <laughs> It's like you can't even tell that I use like a super cheap foundation and then went in with a not super expensive but a mildly expensive um, concealer. So everything still looks good. But anyways you guys, um, now that we have blended out our concealer, we are going to go in with the OS Pink Powder by Patrick Star, And we are just going to add that to all of the spots that we just went and concealed. Just because where that concealer is sitting is perfect i do not want it to move crack or do anything i want it to be completely sweat proof throughout the day because you know as i can see it's still early in the day and your girl i'm i'll be wearing my looks okay when i do my makeup i'll be wearing the looks all day <laughs> so yeah i'll be wanting it to last and i'll be wanting to do like sweat proof and all of that type of you know testing for you guys so that we know how these products is really rocking because we're trying to be outside a little bit a little bit <laughs> so 
but anyways you guys yeah this is how everything is looking on the face i personally love building a foundation first before i go in and do any of my eyeshadow so yeah if you're like me do these products because it's going to give you a flawless base <laughs> but anyways sticking with the fenty beauty products we are going to go in with their bronzer in the shade coco naughty y'all know i have not put this bronzer down since i bought it and this is only my second one that i've had to buy and i will say that these bronzers last a very long time a very long time like when i say like six seven months and i do my makeup a lot like within that time and my bronzers always last me so this is another one that just needs to be in the makeup bag okay because it just it gives you that natural bronze that natural looking like you could just put this on if you just wanted to add some extra dimension or whatever i don't know i don't know what i'm saying but go and get it because this is a bomb product <laughs> but for real for real do you guys just see how everything is coming together on my face and there's no harsh lines everything just looks seamless y'all it's all about how you use your product so and kind of a little bit of what products you use but anyways y'all now we have finished the foundation and everything on the face now we are going to go in and start working on the eyes and you know that i go in with the fenty beauty to conceal my eyes because it just gives that good blank canvas as you guys can see like the eyelid is completely ready for any color foundation which is good because we are actually going to be dipping into the morphe 35a palette up till dawn palette you guys and we are going to be starting off with that shade pink um, now i actually cannot remember the exact color or shade pink that is actually yes i can it's called morning glory the shade of this pink is called morning glory now i am not typically a huge pink fan but sometimes pink be hitting when it comes to the makeup it be hitting so <laughs> yeah that's what that's what we're going with so i'm just taking that morning glory color and just popping it into my crease line and and just kind of blending it in the crease line upward just so that it can kind of be my transition shade i know this shade is very very pink to be a transition shade but with the next color that i'm going to be using it is actually a perfect shade for a transition shade so it looks super pink but as always we're gonna trust the process <laughs> so yeah i am just dabbing that eyeshadow into my skin pressing it in and then i am using my brush to blend out and drag and i do like to go in circular motions just because i like to make sure everything is like blended out and looking extremely seamless okay now that next shade that we are going to go in with is the shade bewitched hour now i'm not a big fan of the names of these um eyeshadows in this palette but it is what it is no harm god knows my heart <laughs> ain't nothing about me in a bewitching hour okay but we are going to pop that color into our um crease line just so that we can add some dimension give a little break up between two colors and you know like this this right here is just us purely playing in color so that's what it is but i like this color because it's kind of like a purplish type of um what is it like dark purple color and i really liked how it just blended very well with that pink and everything just looks seamless now um if you guys are familiar with my makeup tutorials y'all know that your girl is a huge fan of a cut crease still to this day i promise you we're eventually going to get into other looks that are not cut creases but for now you guys this one is going to require us to carve out some of our eyelid just so that we can add another color but we like to have a clean space i cannot lay any color if some of that purple is still on the eyelid it's just not gonna look right so cutting the cut crease is very very important 
but now that we have done that we are going to go back in with that bewitching hour color and we are just going to add that to our outer corner lids just so that we can kind of pull this look together and we don't have to do so much after we add um, our last color onto our actual eyelid so yeah this just kind of brings everything together and makes it look extremely seamless and you know a well blended eye that's what we go for when we are putting on these looks <laughs> and if you're paying attention you can see that i am not rubbing or blending this shade onto my eyelid i was just dabbing it just to close up and you know just make sure everything is seamless a little dab dab is really all you all you need all you need so that you can just bring a look together but anyways the last color that we're going to be using and that we are currently popping onto our eyelid is the shade cha cha you guys now it looks similar to the pink that we used um as our first shade but it's not i swear this one has like a little sparkle in it but you cannot tell on camera so i'm like what the heck <laughs> what is this about but anyways you guys now that we have added all of the colors i just like to go back through with um, whatever product is left on my brush from using the bewitched hour bewitched <laughs> bewitched hour shade shadow <laughs> jesus you guys what's up but anyways um i just go back and i just kind of just make sure everything is looking perfect before i go and add the eyeliner so that's all i'm trying to say y'all <laughs> But anyways, you guys, this is me up close and personal with this gel eyeliner again. Someone made a comment in my last video saying they like the way I put on gel eyeliner. Girl, I appreciate that because it'd be a struggle <laughs> when I have to live through it. When I got to do it, it'd be a struggle. So I truly appreciate that. But anyways, the gel eyeliner that I have been using is the NYX Cosmetics. Again, affordable. I like it. I feel like I've had it in my makeup kit for a very long time and it's still very good but anyways you guys i'm getting way off track i'm way off track anyways i took that um bewitched hour color in that pink color and i just added it to the bottom lash line just to kind of bring the whole look together because i truly feel like a look is not fully pulled together unless it has you know a little bit of you know eyeshadow down at the bottom you know just to bring the whole look together like you don't want all of this nice eyeshadow at the top and nothing at the bottom no we need something <laughs> but anyways you guys now we are getting ready to go in with this mascara just to prep our eyelashes for false eyelashes um using mascara just kind of helps with your top lashes not sticking to your bottom lashes especially because of the lash glue so yeah y'all make sure y'all are applying your mascara to the top and the bottom especially before you put on your lashes and it also helps with your lashes like sitting 10 times better but you guys will discuss that in a later video because I do want to show you guys up close and personal and more in depth on how I put on my lashes but anyways y'all you know when you come to this channel there's going to be a little bit of ghetto activity and we are still using two liners <laughs> we are using a lighter brown and then I go in with the black just until I can go and get me a brown liner okay I just been lazy because when I go into the makeup store I really be spending money and I really don't need to do that so yeah that'd be my problem <laughs> But anyways, you guys, we're going to use what we got. We used the brown lip liner and then we went in with the black one on top. And then we just went in with our MAC Cosmetics. And I believe this lipstick is called Nude Swim. I don't know. I will have to look for sure because I'm just kind of going off my dome with that. But anyways, now um, as far as the um, highlighter and blush is concerned, y'all know I like to use the Laura Geller um, Blush and Brighten blush in the shade tropic hues that has been my jam for like the last couple of summers um it's just i like a good bronzer that goes really good with my skin um but anyways you guys um i figured the the lips that i had wasn't enough so i went in with the fenty lip gloss and added that on top and of course to bring this look together and finish it off we went down and sprayed it with the morphe setting mist but anyways you guys this is the look i truly appreciate you guys for stopping by my channel if you haven't please hit that subscribe button also hit that little bell on the side and i will see you guys in my next video until next time may peace and love be multiplied kim folks peace you
wanna ease your pain. I know.